guys welcome back to the youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well to all my amazing returning subscribers thank you so much and welcome to today's video so guys some weeks ago i started not some weeks ago a week ago uh, yes a week ago i started the omed diet um okay i don't like calling it diet because um it's not a diet it's a way of eating so if you are not told to eat a particular thing like other diet they will ask you to eat only vegetables or eat certain kind of food then it is called that but with omed i don't call it diet it's just a way of eating so guys today i'm going to be discussing with you and guys if you have not seen my videos my previous videos since i started this lifestyle this losing of weight and having my six pack if you have not watched any of my videos hey go and enjoy yourself so guys today i'm going to be talking about the omer diet again and but this time around i'm going to be giving you the rules okay guys i know that the omer diet is super easy for a lot of people and there are people who says oh i cannot eat just once in a day and all that i understand it will not work for everybody especially for someone who is always at home you might not be able to manage it because the kitchen is here and it also happens to me sometimes when i'm home all day like the kitchen is there i pass through the kitchen all the time like it is very very difficult to like hold yourself from eating three times in a day but if you have if you are focused just like me if you are desperate like me to lose all this weight and have my six pack in 2021 i'm very sure you will do everything possible to stick to the rule of the game okay guys um like keto and um and um intimate intermedia fasting hey, i don't know when i will actually learn how to pronounce that word correctly like keto and uh, the fasting like six 16 hours interval eating is it what it's called okay guys i don't know but that is how it is with other ketos there are rules and regulation they give you the portion of the of carbohydrate you're allowed to eat in a day which is 20 gram and they give you the things you should eat there is menu and all that one of the most um challenging thing in omed is that it doesn't have a lot of rules and regulation and sometimes if you are somebody who 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 can manage your stomach being too filled up you might be tempted to go overboard so today i'm going to be giving you some of the things that you should never do hey omed have it has um, also rules and regulation so today i'm going to be giving you some of some i said some some of the things that i found out that when you do these things it will mess up your system the first thing is um let's say the things that you should not even do with omed diet the first thing is portion control so guys um in as much as omed said in omed diet you can eat whatever you want uh, whenever you want it um the type of food whatever it is that you want um it is very very important to control your uh portion okay um if you are somebody that be, that eats a lot and you eat once i think it also happened to us when sometimes we will do fasting or we'll go into fasting like religious fasting and sometimes you want to eat the previous night you want to eat a lot so that you have a lot in your system it doesn't work that way that is just rubbish because as much as you eat a lot when you eat a lot the next morning you are quickly hungry and when you don't eat a lot your body system will adapt to the fact that it doesn't need food and it you will still survive so it happens also to uh, omed in omed uh, um, diet so don't say because you are going to eat in a day then you eat a lot at once that you are not able to breathe anymore make sure that whatever it is that you are eating is something that you should be comfortable with your stomach will still feel good you still have space to add water because you will have to drink a lot of water also in omed so make sure that it is something that at the end of it or um don't say you will add breakfast lunch dinner you add three in once it doesn't make any sense so watch your 
portion control what the portion of what you eat the quantity of food that you eat is very very important if you don't control the quantity of food that you eat it will mess up the omed diet the second thing that will mess up your omed diet is soda no matter how how much no matter how you say oh i have even if you don't eat throughout the day and you drink soda it will mess up your omed diet so avoid soda avoid soda you can drink coffee with milk um minimize the intake of sugar 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 minimize it it will not give you a perfect result and especially for me it's not only about losing weight it's not only about having a flat stomach it has i'm, I'm also someone that love uh, that is after a um, healthy lifestyle health health um, I want to eat healthy. I want to be able to be healthy. So, okay, it's not only about losing weight. It should not be about losing weight only. So, you should be able to also uh, stay healthy even when you are slim or even when you have reduced in size. You should also be able to stay healthy. So, the first one is control your 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 portion, the portion of the food you eat, the quantity you eat. The second one is to avoid soda. So, the third one and this one is very very important is to avoid eating with people okay guys i will tell you if my husband and i if we are eating it from the same plate i am tempted to eat i'm not able to control the quantity of food that i consume i don't know if this happens to any other person but once i say baby oh i want to eat mine i want to take mine in my own plate and then i will it does this is what i want to eat i put it in my own plate i measure it i put dish it myself and put it in the plate then i am in control of the portion and the quantity that i consume my husband will start like this um baby i still many three plates still many four spoons that's okay you take two spoons then i'll take one spoon or i'll take two spoons you take two spoons or still many two slices you take one slice i'll take one slice you see that is where you mess up everything so um for the first few months of starting um i think i'm not saying that you shouldn't eat with your loved ones in the same plate but because of your goal of losing weight because of your goal of your what you want to achieve i think you should stop eating with people from the same plate okay so that you are able to control your portion so the first one is that if you are somebody who works okay if you are somebody who is working and um you have your break meet me uh, midday break um and you are used to going to the cafe or going to the restaurant or going to the uh, cafeteria with your friends i would advise that you learn how to at least for the first three or four months six months you learn how to make your own um your take your own break alone because when you are in the middle of people who are eating, drinking, and all that, you are tempted to eat. You are tempted to eat. And sometimes, it has happened to me, um, I work with a friend of mine, who is also a sister. Um, I work with her in the, in the same company. And any time that I feel like, oh, there was time we used to go for coffee, and, you know, I just want to go for coffee. Okay, guys, what I am actually telling you now, why I came out to complain to you to do this video is because it really happened to me today. Okay, it is 11, minus 11 degree, and today we are freezing in the office, and then I told her, I said, I wrote her, I said, let's go to coffee, let's go and take something warm. Okay, so when we got there, they said coffee was not available. Okay. When we were about to talk, she said, oh, we can just take a piece of bread and then we divide it into... She's, she's also into weight loss, okay? She's also working so hard to lose weight. She said, oh, we can take one bread and divide it into, like, broaching and divide it into two. Left to me, I, don't want, I didn't want to eat broaching. She didn't want... She, does not even, she didn't even want to eat broaching also because... She wrote me and said, oh, Janet, I just, I just want to see you off to go and get coffee for yourself, but I am not going to buy anything. I'm not eating anything. I'm not drinking. I said, yes, I just wanted to drink something warm and then just, you know, walk around because of the cold. I wasn't ready to eat 
anything to buy anything so we agreed so when we got there the coffee was the coffee machine was bad so she said let's just buy something you know we can divide it and i said okay you see so that was how i ended up that was not a meal but you know it kind of messed up how today was supposed to be so avoid situations like that avoid it avoid it as in avoid it okay so guys another thing is that if you live alone make sure that uh, i think that is the fourth the next one look i don't know i've lost count the next um tip is uh make sure that you always have food at home because if you are outside if you are someone who works and you come back make sure that um you always have something to eat when you get back home if you've not eaten throughout the day okay make sure there's always something to eat at home make provision make deliberate effort to make sure there is cooked food there are fruit as in there is fruit there are fruits in the house there is something to eat when you are home when you are back home make if possible um on weekend make soups you know and put them inside the freezer make things cook things and have already already prepared meal so that when you are coming back from work or you are coming back from school, there is something and you have not eaten for the past um, 20 hours or depending, you ate the last food that you ate is like 24 hours ago, okay, and you are hungry, you are exhausted, even when you are not hungry, like, um, it's no longer like hunger, hunger like that, but you just have your plan and you say, oh, when I come home, I want to eat. So the thing is that when you don't see food and then um, you are struggling to get something to eat, um, okay, um, this is what is available. I just put this in my mouth and then later you put something in your mouth. So make sure that you have a food plan, your food plan, your, your week plan, your, your week, yes, plan your dishes. Plan what you make sure you have something. You have a good food, something that will satisfy you by the time you come home. So, guys, those are my tips. And as you are working out, as you are eating, guys, in as much as you can eat whatever it is that you want, try as much as possible to reduce your intake of carbohydrates. If you have reduced sugar and all that, make sure, as in reduce it, bring it. There are so many delicious food. There are so many nice things you can eat. Okay, um, I am somebody that loves rice. My best food is rice. For those who knows me, they know that I can even eat white rice. Like Once I see rice, I'm always very, very excited. I love rice. However you cook it, white, jollof, fried, anyhow, roasted, I would love to eat rice. I love rice. So I make sure that I don't deprive myself from eating rice, but I am not going to eat rice every day. So because it is very, very high in carbohydrates and I do not eat rice every day. I do not want to eat carbohydrate food every day. So I mix with vegetables, fish, meat, all the things that I know that I love. Okay. And guys, you can, in, um, in this journey, I will also advise that you drink less of, another tip is that you drink less of smoothies, especially protein smoothies. Okay, guys, the truth is there are meal replacement smoothies. I have some on my channel that I made some, some months back. So you can go through the channel, you will see them. They are protein, they are food, they are carbohydrates like pumpkin smoothie, like nut smoothie, those are protein and sometimes it contains a lot of calories, a lot of, even though they are very healthy. So sometimes a glass of smoothie is equal 10 gram, 20 gram, 40 gram of rice. So it is better, don't say, okay, now I am eating rice, then I will step it down with smoothie, it is overeating. So make sure that this time, whatever it is that you are drinking, um, you can drink juice, you can drink green juice, you can drink other juice, but please, the smoothie, you should reduce it. Even, even if it is 100% um, fruit, 
Um, you know how thick smoothie is, you know what would add into it. Sometimes some people add yogurt and all that. If you are going to eat it with replace as a replacement of meal, probably you want to make smoothie, protein smoothie, and then um, you add you, you 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 consume it with a piece of fish or a piece of meat, that is okay. That is very very okay because the amount of nutrients or the amount of carbohydrate calories that you get from the food you can as well get it from the smoothie replacement or the replacement smoothie meal replacement uh, smoothies. So do not say because um, I'm eating only once then you add smoothie on it, especially the smoothie that you added um, sesame seed, granules, and things like that. So do not, or you have your protein shake, then you are eating worms and you are still drinking the protein shake or on top. So that will be very, very wrong. So guys, watch what you eat. Secondly, watch the portion. Um, try to avoid temptation from eating from friends, from colleagues, even from the children, okay? If you have kids, I know it is very, very difficult, but if your eye is on the go, I'm sure you, are, you will be able to find a lasting solution to it, okay? And, um, you know, make sure you have food at home, like I said, have food at home always. Plan your weekend, weekend, plan your meals. Make sure that you have something at home that you are going to be eating so that you don't run out of food and then you are home, you are eating this, chopping from here and you are eating something, you're, you are not satisfied, you are still looking for something to grab here and there to put in your mouth. That does not work with homemade diet. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to share, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.